Welcome to a quick introduction video for the 402K from Tempo. The 402K is supplied in the 700C uh, fabric pouch, <coughs> which has a belt loop on the back and a place where you can use a carabiner to attach it to something else, your backpack or whatever. The instruction manual can fit into this nice convenient little flap in the back here. Got lots of information in there. I'm just going to give you a very quick summary here in this video. So let's start by opening. <coughs> And inside you'll find two main units. There's the transmitter, the 402T, and there's the receiver, 402R. Tucked down the bottom here, there are two cords. <coughs> One is a small coaxial patch cord to go between the F connector on the transmitter and uh, an F connector on uh, a device such as a patch panel on a wall. Or we have um, a, a, a crocodile clip <coughs> adapter cord which can allow you to connect either to a, uh, the end of an open coaxial cable or to a twisted pair and use it for tracing that as well. So the first thing we've got to do now is install the batteries. So conveniently I've got them here so bear with me a second, I'll move this out of the way and I'll show you how to do that. So one screw on the transmitter And inside you'll find a simple battery snap. Just watch the clarity and connect it up. Place it inside. The only thing you've got to watch here is to make sure the wires are tucked out of the way and away from the, the screw boss. There are some options in here which are explained in the manual but they give you options for different tones so if you're going to use more than one of these in a particular building you might want to switch them to a, a, a two different tones so that you can uh, tell the two apart. But by default just leave them as they are and pop the screw back in. We can actually test the battery <coughs> and the continuity, the continuity mode is great for that. So if you switch this to continuity mode you get the LED and the, and the buzzer. So that just proves that the, the battery is good once you've installed it. Room to switch it off. The receiver is equally simple to install. There's one little screw on the back, so it's completely loose. And then hook the battery cover out, and again, you have a simple 9 volt battery clip. Again, watch the polarity, so get that lined up correctly, pop him in. Pop the battery back in here, put the lid back on, and retighten the screw. Just finger tight. And we have the receiver. So on the receiver we have simple controls. We have a gain control on the side here. We have a push button to switch it on, and you can hear a hiss. We have some areas which are marked for detection. We have a tip at the front. We have what we call the coil area. More on that in a second. And we have a direct connection uh, F connector at the back. So let's give you a quick introduction as to what we do with these. First of all, the tone generator generates exactly what it says. A tone. So what I'm doing is pressing the button, I've got this on sort of medium sort of gain, nothing special, I'm not doing anything special. So what we're doing here is this device, the, the receiver, is picking up the electrostatic, the voltage emanating from this wire which is induced by this oscillator. And obviously if I touch it, it's very loud. The coil area is doing very little at this point. What that does, that detects current that might be flowing. So I can use the crocodile clips here to demonstrate that. So if I now short the signal out and I go near the coil, you've got a huge signal. Because I've got a huge current flowing around here. Very easy to detect. The normal way of using this is obviously using a coaxial uh, cable going off to a box or just an open circuit. 
So let's demonstrate with a coaxial cable. 